Hello and welcome to a really quick video on how to get your Seamoth unstuck in the ground if it decides to be a big fat jerk and get stuck inside the ground. Now I looked for a few solutions for this problem. Apparently it's a really common bug for your Seamoth to get lodged within the geometry in the game. Usually when you like park it by an island or on top of some kind of land or next to some kind of land, it can either get stuck while still being partially out of the land, or it can be entirely sucked in and absorbed into the land, which is what happened to me. So I'm just gonna use the console method to get this out. And I thought this would be a useful video possibly for you guys, because some of you guys are playing along with me and this is a common glitch that happens. And it's really pretty easy to fix it without having to go back and build an entirely new Seamoth, which actually would probably be what I should have done just to, you know, piss you guys off more after making the second sea glide. But I'm not gonna do that, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is go as close as I, yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so my sea moth is right there. It's right at the edge of the sand right here. Uh, it's like right here, right? So I am going to get as close as I can. I'm going to press F3 and F8. And then I'm going to use the... Um, okay, this. oops, I forgot to enable this again, but... Um, I'm going to uncheck this so console is enabled. You need to use the console to be able to do this whole fix. All right, so then um, you can press F3, F8 again, hit enter, uh, free cam. All right, free cam. Now, if you're in free cam mode, you're like separate from your body and uh, sorry if that scared you, it freaked me out the first time. <laughs> But did you know that you have no head? Did you know that you actually have no head? I feel cheated and lied to. Anyway, move forward in free cam without your body like a total badass. And then uh, go under the geometry. Don't look down because it's really scary. Don't don't look down. Whatever you do, don't look down. Okay, just look, look at your sea moth and go inside of it. So you're just kind of like, uh, you know, you're, you're just riding it backwards. That's what, that's what she, uh, never mind. Um, just go right here, okay? Then press, then press F1. F1 brings up this. So the thing you want to look for is, uh, how do I, F8, okay. There, now I can point it at, point at it for you guys. All right, camera world position right here is what you want, okay? So you want to make note of this camera world position. Uh, negative 6999, comma, negative 3.3 .3, comma negative 966.1 or 6 did i say 96 did i say that back? whatever whatever your world position is that's the number you write down okay and it's going to be different from my number so don't write down my number write down your special world position number which which is where your seamoth is stuck in the world okay then uh hit enter again get out of free cam go back to your your body then uh, go back and press enter or, or tilde. I guess they both work. Um, and then hit warp or type warp and then type the world position that you just wrote down. By the way, you need a space after warp. So warp space negative six nine nine space negative three. Point two, space, negative nine six six point four. Okay, and then hit enter. You should warp into your. You should be. You should be right next to it, on top of it, or inside of it. I don't think the game can actually warp you inside of it, but it puts you as close as it can. So look around. Try not to get too scared, cause it's scary down there, right? Just, just look at your sea moth. It's all fine. Go into it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. You are now inside it's your sea moth. All you need to do from here is back out or uh, go forward. Whichever direction is going to get you out of the geometry that you're stuck in, okay? So I need to back out. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Perfect. Okay, the last step is to go back in here, F3 and F8, and then disable the console again because um, we don't want to accidentally do things in there. Cheating is bad, okay. So anytime, 
Anytime you get your Seamoth stuck, you can do that to get it out, uh, which I think is way better than building a new Seamoth. However, I, th there's another way, like if it's not all the way into the ground like mine was, and you have a propulsion cannon, you can apparently also use the propulsion cannon to unlodge it. But I didn't try that method, so I don't know if anyone else knows if that works or not. Let me know in the comments below. But this is by far the easiest and most efficient way to get your Seamoth back out without screwing anything up. And then, of course, save the game. Thank you for watching this video on how to get your Seamoth unstuck when it decides to be annoying and very naughty in the sand. I'll see you guys in the next episode, which will be released very shortly on my channel. Goodbye. Stay cheesy. And until then, au revoir. Happy swimming.